My second day here at Les Fermes des Quatre Temps, Jean Martin Fortier's awesome new research farm project. And the weather was not agreeable today. It poured rain pretty much all day. So, this is the only time I've had as a window to come out and actually film outside. It's been just not even possible to bring my camera out here. So, in this one, James is going to kind of walk around and show us some of the things that are cool on this farm but there is a lot of stuff here it's it would be you know I could spend a week here or more making little videos of all the stuff that's happening on this farm it's really awesome because you know you don't really see an opportunity to create all of these aspects in one place like very few farmers would have the land or the capital be able to do this so since JM has a a pretty big investor behind him on this project. He's been able to experiment with all these other kinds of things. Things that I wouldn't deem economically viable in my context. But this is not my context. This is his context in this land with the amount of capital that's behind this operation. Why not try this stuff? Why not see what's possible and see if there's an actual benefit that can be either measured in soil microbiology profit of the farm, reduced work, you name it, who knows? Like there's so many variables there that we could measure. So I really think what's happening here is a huge opportunity, not only for, for JM and greater Quebec or Canada or the world, but, but also for other farmers where JM's gonna have all this research for years of things they've tried here and we'll be able to say, yes, the hedgerows in the, between the bed blocks works at reducing pests, increasing overall profit of the crop, whatever. I'm not saying that they do, but, but that's the idea, is by trying all these things, he can actually say whether these things work or not. I mean, who knows? Maybe all of the, maybe, maybe it's all, maybe some of these things will be tried and they won't work. Maybe some of them will be great successes, but that's the whole idea. So you need a for your hands? Tes mains de programmeur? Oh, c'est pas grave. Ça m'a j'ai mal aux Oh, that's how you get the point. <laughs> okay, done. Okay, Next. only a few hundred more to do. Blue washer, you, 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 uh... These are shut off valves. When it's filled, it stops. Right. Custom valves they're called. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And? That's intense. Okay. Made in Italy. Look at the pressure. 16 GPM. 250 PSI. Intense. Intense. Great. All on pallets, all all ready to go. 
Different colors, different style. So we've got one of the hedgerows here. Yep. And it has the uh, bird houses. Bird houses. So now it's, you know, it's it's the end of fall. Well, soon uh, winter, so things are dying down. Things are dying back. Very nice. Are you selling a baby fennel to chefs? Yeah, baby fennel, bok choy. They're a dollar twenty-five a pot. Per perfect. Yeah. There's a lot of them in there. That's good. When we harvested, I told the crew to put the crop. Leave it on the soil. Leave it on the bed. Absolutely. And why would I mow this and destroy it? Well, it's a great erosion protection for the winter. Absolutely. So I visited farms where they want everything to be super clean. clean. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this is your soil. You want to protect it. So I'm just leaving the crops leave the there. Crop. That's what I do. Because it's not going to go to a seed that's that's usable no. before the cold. No. So that's your cover crop. Yeah. And uh, so all the beds, I want them to be protected for the winter. And if there's nothing in them, I'm going to put the tarps Tarp. over them. Yeah. So the bug hotel is different little habitats for different insects. and. Uh, what it symbolizes here is that we're trying to create hospitable conditions for all these, you know, creatures. Beneficial bugs. So we just symbolizes that. The hotel symbolizes that. And uh, yep, it's pretty cool. It's the first year, so it's still pretty, there's vacancy still. But... Yeah, they're still open for vacancy. <laughs> yeah. up on Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. An Airbnb bug hotel. So this is another niche. This is. The design of the farm was to capture all the runoff water from the from the field blocks Here. to these ponds. Cool. And the ponds, they have two purpose. The first one is that the way they're created, they slope gently to the south, and they're not really deep. And these these are perfect uh, habitats for toads. Toads eat mice. And um, what's the other? Toads eat mice. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they do. Wow. And and uh, um, those little voles. Voles, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Voles. They're brutal. And uh, so this is for that. Toads eat voles. And we can also measure the water. So we'll we'll be able to know measuring the water over time if there's a lot of runoff. From, if there's too much runoff or not. From the compost yeah. and all of that. Because, Which all the agronomists because, want to know. Yeah, the agronomists, <laughs> they're always on our back. They're like, oh, you guys are applying way too much compost and the phosphate levels will be way too high. But what we're telling them, this is a no-till system or almost, so we're not releasing the phosphate. Yeah. We're, uh, and it's not being leached. Yeah. And so that, that's going to be the, the way we measure that. Yeah, yeah. And it looks good. Yeah, it looks cool. It's a beautiful habitat. Yeah. Yeah. That's JM's new farm. Hope you guys have found that helpful. If you want to see more stuff like this, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends. Check out my website, theurbanfarmer.co. Check out JM's website. I'll put the link below. Les Fermes de Quatre Temps in Hemingford, Quebec. I'll be back again soon, but I think I'll be away for the winter. All right, see you next time. Yeah.